We're at the Brooklyn Navy Yards. There's uh, downtown Manhattan across the East River, concrete jungle around me, and this is the perfect spot for an urban apiary. This is uh, New York City's largest and first commercial apiary. Before this, no one had really had more than a handful of hives. And since April, we've uh, harvested about 500 pounds of honey so far, and things are going really well. Honey from New York City is now retailing for up to $40 a pound, and we have no trouble clearing this stuff off the shelves. The honey we produce, along with honey that any small beekeeper produces, can be very different from the cheap stuff you find on the shelves in the supermarket. If you know your beekeeper, chances are you know their honey is really, really good stuff. But then there's an extra layer of city honey and countryside small-scale honey. Some people might be concerned that there could be issues with pollution or just the various things you would expect from a big city. What happens is in the countryside, a lot of bees are exposed to large crops that humans are growing. And humans tend to use pesticides and herbicides and fungicides on those crops. So those bees end up getting all, all those chemicals and putting it into their honey in the countryside. Everything that's grown in a big city is ornamental. Nobody's using any pesticides. Uh, everybody takes good care of their plants. They water them if there's a drought. And to a bee, it's, it's nirvana. <laughs> Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of pollen, just not a lot of new nectar. Uh, I'm a Bronx born and raised. I've never had anything to do with bees. I was always pretty much afraid of them. I've only been doing it probably five months now, but um, just fell in love with it. They are not that aggressive, and, and so they're actually, you know, you're able to hold them in your hand, and I feel like they're not as scary as people think they are. <laughs> new York City happened to legalize beekeeping two years ago. And even though it was technically illegal from 1999 until 2010, there was still a huge underground beekeeping culture. As soon as it became legalized, people came out of the woodwork interested in beekeeping. We've got classes that are sold out weeks, months in advance. For me, working with bees is like working with divinity. And it's like going to like, for some people, the church, for some people, the mosque, because uh, they're so, uh, involved in the existence of all life. Everyone's come out to welcome beekeeping into New York and into cities around the world. It's a great vibe, it's a great renaissance, and it's a lot of fun.